Hello and welcome to our first brew day. Yeah. We are the Chuckle Brewers and we've spent the last two hours cleaning, stripping, setting things up. Setting things up, it's and, yeah. Uh, yeah, doing two hours and we still haven't brewed any beer. We are going to attempt a Worcestershire, Worcestershire Hop Shop recipe, which is a Timothy Taylor clone, which contains 4,250 4, grams of pale marisotta and 30 grams of black malt. Then we've got 34 grams of Goldings and 26 grams of Syrian Styrian, Styrian, Styrian Goldings. Yes. And then another 18 grams and a protoflock tablet and some yeast if we haven't killed it. Yeah, the yeast we... doesn't look very yeah. happy this morning. It looked very happy last night. It was great night. last night. There's loads of volume on it, but this morning yeah. it might have died. So yeah. as we don't know what we're doing, we'll lot, see what happens. There is a lot of yeast, but whether any of it is actually fit to uh, pitch. Yeah. So we'll check it in, more. and if it doesn't work, we'll put some more yeast in. So we worked out that we needed for... Oh yes, the uh, we worked out... I found out last night at 3 o'clock in the morning, because I've been worrying me for ages, what the dead space, how you work it out. And when they say dead space, they don't mean dead to the entire brew, they just mean dead to the mash, just in case anybody else doesn't already know this. So it's the space beneath the mash tun, or the mash tube, or the mash caddy, whatever you want to call it, and the bottom of the boiler. That, they call it dead space, but it just means not used in the mash, so the mash is not in that space. Obviously, when you take it out and you do the boil, it all becomes part of the beer. So they call it, apparently, recoverable dead space. I love this. It's so much rubbish in this, in this brewing world. Right, how many litres of water do we need? We needed 21 and a half litres of water based right. on our dead space of, we, well, came out at about nine and a half litres, which is two and a half litres less than the Bruzilla, um, say, theirs should be, which they say is 12 litres. Okay, so we've cheated because our yeah. water's very hard and we bought some water from a store which has got a pH of 6.2, so it's slightly acidic, quite soft. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, our, um, our tap water was way, way, way higher than that, and so hard that uh, when we did our test boil, we spent hours getting the calcium off the out inside of the boilers and things. Um, Unbelievable really. So I think when we get into this, we're going to go the OG water route and make our own water for the brews, which seems to be what a lot of people do. We found a reasonably cheap source for it now. We've got some calcium in case this is too acidic, so we can always drop that in if we don't think it's not right. Hopefully, but the lactic acid hasn't turned up, so if it's too much the other way, we'll just have to go with the flow. Uh, how are you doing? How many you got ten. Ten, so two more of those and a drip. Interesting to see how the water from this measures up to the measure in the machine. Uh, shifty. Right. It's a big old machine. Well, there you go. That's 15, and it says almost 20 already on there. <laughs> so either the uh, either the generous in the in the bottles. As we got this from Tesco's, I don't believe it could possibly be generous. That's true. That is true. Is it says on the outside. Five liters. What's it say there? It doesn't say 20 there. It says something different on the. Yeah. Uh, what's so it this is saying at the moment with 15 liters. I reckon that's saying. About 19, so this is 20. Right. So we know, but our internal measurement on here is not very accurate. Uh, the sight glass, yeah, the sight glass is saying near a 20. In fact, the sight glass is bang on 20. 20, that's So good. in other words, the internal measure is a load of old shite. Okay, well, it's good at uh, least. Technical, the technical term. Right. <laughs> technical I'm just going to get a jug to measure out the last litre. Okie dokie. So when we washed out the machine, uh, machines, Plural. There was an awful lot of fibres in there and bits of metal and all sorts of things. So you really need to give it a wash because they obviously just give it a wipe down in the factory. Um, Surprising how much came out, wasn't it? Yeah, it was quite shocking. A, a lot of rinsing to get all the fibres out of these. Um, okay. So and a half we have our water, so we now need to sparge water. Do we want to put that in next? Not yet. No, we'll do right. that once we get going. We need to plug okay. it in first. We haven't plugged the machine in yet. That would always help. Yeah, because I couldn't work out how to use the plug. Which you know, it sounds really quite pathetic. But there you go. Look, oh, it goes the other way. Yeah. There we go. Right. So in and let's go. Is that so on before we go anywhere. Is that off? What is that on? You remember? Uh, that's probably off because it's sideways, isn't it? Yeah, yes. Right. PCB on. PCB on. And you press manual. Ah, 
this isn't a how-to thing because uh, obviously there's thousands of them out there. That's why we call the chuckle brews. That's why we call the chuckle brews because if you if you didn't laugh you'd cry. So if I put the lid on, it will help. Right. So we're going to have a wait of however long it takes. Last time it took about 35 minutes, was it, to get to 70 odd? I can't remember. Yeah. We did last. About that. Yeah. So, yes, so okay. we'll call that a day for now, I think. It's just a little tip I got from uh, the from Safri. Uh, when the kit arrived, which was over a month ago now, he said uh, freeze the hops. So I froze them in a separate bag with a copy of the recipe in it because we got, I think we got four kits at the same time and uh, I didn't want to get them mixed up. So those are all the hops for it which have been frozen for over a month. And my wife kindly gave me um, half, half, well, a quarter of an entire shelf of the fridge. Very generously, in case she watches. Yes, so it's at about 23 degrees and it's been going for well, maybe five minutes, but it started at about 13. So that's not bad, really. And we've, we're not at full tilt, we're not at three kilowatts, we're at 2,800. I think you can see it bubbling away in there. Yeah, um, it's yeah. Oh. All going so well so far. Still not brewed a pint of beer, but you know, we're getting there. <laughs> yeah, so two hours in and we're just about. Just boiling, boiling water. water. So we decided we wouldn't add the uh, grist to the malt caddy inside the boiler. We, we decided we'd do it outside because we've seen other people do it and then give it a downward stir when it's finished. So that is our 4.158 kilos of mixed malt. How exciting is that? And we've got ourselves, <laughs> well, half a pint each because we've run out of beer. Cheers. Cheers. Brew me. Brew you. <laughs> okay, right. we have reached a temperature of 70 degrees. We're not going for 75 because I was reading all sorts of things last night. Horror stories about it. If you get too hot, you're, uh, you're going to kill the enzymes off and stuff. So okay. I'm going to put this one in as a bucket. It doesn't weigh a great deal, to tell the truth. So right. we need to make those things avoid. On the corners. There we go. Uh, is it going? Mm -hmm. And we're going to. Saf Brew did this and he just let it go in oh, itself, so go. under it's its own weight. Hit that. Has it hit? Yeah, look. Oh, just let go. No, no, because that came up. No, it's because it's floating in the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it is. Amazing, that, isn't it? Right. Was that it? Was it all the way in? Yeah. Oh, so right. a little bit short of water, I think. Okay, so we need a stirrer. Where's the stirrer? Yeah. Ooh, where's the paddle? There we go. Oh, that's interesting. We are. Oh no, oh no, no it's no, there, it's yeah. there. Wow, it is, it is doughy. <laughs> right, so I guess this yeah. is the downside of doing it this way, is you've always got much more chance of it being... Oh, wow, it smells amazing. That is fantastic, we're brewing now. Oh, it smells like breakfast. Oh, I'm gonna have breakfast around the others. Oh, that's nice. Wow. The, the, um, yeah, one of the downsides of, of doing a half batch in this thing is it really isn't made for half batches. <laughs> it's a big yes. machine, and I think I think a double batch is a yeah is much easier. This is easier than I thought it was going to be because you can actually feel it where the blocks are. Okay. I've seen many people do it on video, but I had no idea yeah. you know how hard it was. But you can definitely when you get in the corners, you can feel those those lumps. Can I just get around there? Yeah. I'm in now. It should be alright, I think. I'm just paranoid about it dropping. <laughs> yeah, we're a bit paranoid about our bottom, uh, what do you call it, sieve? Plate. Plate. Bottom yeah. plate is yeah. a little bit loose. Yeah, it's not yeah. the greatest fit. No, it's not the greatest fit. It should be okay so. when the weight of the mash is down on it, but just with this yeah. paddling and getting rid of the yeah. dough balls, I'm going to take your wrists and drop it all out into the bottom. That feels pretty smooth now. Okay. I'm Perfect. surprised actually. It looks like we've got just the right amount of water. Yeah. It's nice and thick but not uh, dry. Right. And you've got all of the dead space underneath with yeah. water in it. We should through. have some beer in here now. So yeah. now, all right. we need to put so. the top plate on which means take off that white thing. 
Now where do we put the top plate? That's the question. It's over here, isn't it? Here. Mm -hmm. So, are we going to... Oh, you've you taken want... both off again. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're just going to put that through, aren't we? Okay. Do you want to yeah, do that? Yeah, yeah. We, we, uh, we're experimenting a bit here. It looks like this screw can go through as a separate thing. Although it might be easier to put that on first. No, we don't want that. We want to drop it on, don't we? Because we want to be tight. We can't drop it on, because that's too big. No, no, drop it on there. Yeah, but then you lower it down. No, but you can't lower that down, because it goes on the screw, doesn't it? That goes on the screw. Yeah, this but is... the whole thing goes down, doesn't it? Oh, okay. It's the whole... Oh. Well, does it go all the way it. down? How far down does it go? Well, down to there. No, it's not far enough, is it? No, it isn't. No, no you're right. Right, right. Okay, drop let's drop it on. it on. Yeah, sorry. We're, uh, this is all new to us, as you'll know. Probably good. And down we go. There we go. I'm just need to just get some water peering. I don't know if you can see this. Perhaps you can't. Perhaps you can't. So we just we just have water peering just on the surface. No, you don't need that one. Why? That? Because that's because we get liquid going round. That's the whole point of it. Okay. It's a part of the recirculation. Oh, yes. So it is. But so we want to drop. Unfortunately, that. there's not enough yeah. in there to actually. So. Is so that going to work? Then? Well, it'll have to. We just have to hope that it doesn't. So this definitely needs to have a bigger brew, doesn't it? It needs a bigger brew, yes, by definitely. Right, okay, so that's good. So now I'm going to put this back on the stand. We need to set the temperature up for an hour at... Uh, yeah, I think it said 65. Hold on, let's double check. Uh, Phone was a bit more accurate. That's a bit wildly uh, inaccurate, that thing. Ba -ba 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 -ba. How, where are you now? 65.2. 65. Oh, where does it say in all this? Let's go for 65 for half an hour and then we'll go okay. for 67 for half an hour. So, 30 minutes. Yeah. Then you want to put the wattage down. Yeah, what are we having? 500. Uh, let's go for a, let's go for a thousand for now, and then we can turn it down again. If it's, I think you can hold that one as well. If you want. Oh, no. There you go. All right. And Happy then, with that. Stop. Right. So, so now, now we need the pump on, don't we? We need to put the, the lid on and the pumpy arm thing. That's to do this one, doesn't it? Because the other doesn't fit. Yeah, it's got to be that one. Yeah. And we have to set it up to go at the right sort of reg, mm. the right uh, speed to not. We do, we do need a bit of tubing on this, don't we, really? Because the other one literally wouldn't fit, would it? No. So, okay, ready? Yeah. Bump on. Valve on. There we oh, go. Right, so. Okay, let's see how high that gets. <laughs> Does it matter if it doesn't go through the tube at the top? It, it's a safety valve, the tube at the top. Basically, what, to prevent it going too to, high? To prevent the, prevent the water underneath. Yeah. and burning. Right. Wow. Oh, I'm with you. So I, if, yeah, you if, it, if it overflows, it. it just goes down the middle of the pipe. Yeah. It's gonna is have that, to be. Is that fast enough? It's gonna have to be for now. Why, is that as fast as it will go? No, it'll go a lot faster. All right. Why, why don't we want a little bit more than that? That's well, not that much, is it? But you want it to drain through the same rate as it's. Oh, okay. Coming through, oh, right. and it's hard to tell, isn't it? Because yeah. yeah, we're gonna have to right. ruin this a bit. See how that goes. Yeah. Maybe put the element down again. I don't know. Right, so what temperature are we at? I think we should put the element down to 500. Maybe. Oh, it's, it's okay. Got tired of looking at the other sparge army thing, not really doing anything, and I've set this one up like this, which is obviously it's running a little bit fast. That's even faster. But it's not creeping up the tube at all in the middle, so and it is flowing, which is good because the previous one wasn't. So I'm, I'm hoping, and as you can hear, the elements are going because it's dropped below 66 again, and uh, probably because we've got more circulation. So that will going to come up back up to 66, and then I'm going to stick it at when it's, it's half an hour, I'm going to stick it at 60, 67 and a half, probably 68, maybe. I don't know, I really don't know what I'm doing. But uh, so far so good. It smells nice. That's uh, apparently half the battle. And it's sticky. Yeah, it's uh, just just getting the um, the previous um, the previous arm out. It's uh, it's come out and it's really quite sticky. So there's obviously sugar in there. So it is doing something. Right, I'm not. 
we have uh, we've got quite a nice flow going now. I mean, as you can see, we're not using half the machine really. It's a bit of a waste, and uh, we can't get the pipe any lower than that. That's as low as the pipe goes. So the overflow thing is defunct. So really, I think double brews 26, sorry, 20, 46 or 50 liters is really where you're going to go with this machine. Still, if you're going to start, you might as well start at the top. Although, of course, there are there are bigger machines available. We're doing a 66.6, so it seems to be evening out a bit now. It's not overshooting quite so much, probably because we're circulating it better, I imagine. Which is all good. Oh, I feel a lot more confident now it's going round a bit. Yeah, I mean, we're obviously going to lose a bit to evaporation, but, you know, when we boil, we're going to lose three or four litres anyway. So, yes, yeah, so our sparge kettle is going to be, uh, hopefully, in about half an hour, going to be somewhere there or thereabouts. Turns out it's a little bit slower than we don't. We've had to stick it up there, but I still don't think that's going to be high enough when we pull the tube out. But, you know, you live and learn. Uh, we've got our cooler all rigged up. We put the hoses on. It's been washed. We'll give it a quick star sand. Well, you put it in the boil, but we give it a quick star sand before we put it in the boil. And uh, we have a tube there for the transfer of the wort. My colleague Toby is making up a big bucket of star sand for all of our star sand needs. Of course, it isn't star sand anymore. It's chem sand. And okay, so we reached the end of our 30 minutes at. Um, 66 so now I'm going to do another 30 minutes at uh, where are we? timer 30 minutes temperature oh, at now uh, well, what the, no. should we go let's go a little bit higher apparently the second set of enzymes gives you more mouthfeel and they say you can go up to about 68 but I don't really want to risk that. So, yeah, I think we should probably just hit start again. Let me pause start. There we go. And it'll start heating up to 67.5. Whether this is going to make any difference at all is probably quite doubtful. But, you know, we've got to try. Probably shouldn't be doing this rubbish on the first brew, really. So there we go. Still circulating. This looks like nothing's going to burn because it's pretty, pretty stupid. There's a bit of we have a bit of grist coming through on the uh, on the top filter, which means there must be a bit escaping on the bottom, which isn't that surprising given it's a little bit on the loose side. Yeah, that's the the, the one bit of this machine that doesn't seem to fit very accurately is the uh, bottom filter. It's definitely got a gap. We were hoping the weight of the grist would uh, yeah would keep that gap. Closed, but it's not a lot. I mean, there's some coming through. The pump, the pump tab will be fine. So anyway, 30 minutes, and then we're into sparge territory. Stop the circulation pump for a bit, and just let it warm up the bottom. Yeah, maybe that would be a good idea. Let me just stop the pump for now, and uh, see if it can warm at the bottom without completely wrecking our our sweet, sweet, sweet beer. Oh, there you go, straight away. Wow. Wow. So that circulation is basically stopping it um, boiling, or stopping it heating. Mm. Now, of course, we've gone from the sublime to the ridiculous, and it's overshot the 65.7 temperature by one and a half degrees. So we are now heading for 70, which is not the best temperature to be, I believe. Although... I'm sure in reality <laughs> it'll probably just add some weird st stringency or something to the beer, an astringent taste. Um, it's yeah, it's it's slowing down now and cooling down a bit. That's good. The heat is off. The recirculation obviously has quite a cooling effect on it. When I switched the pump off, it pretty much emptied of liquid pretty sharpishly. Um, that's getting a bit deep. I'm going to have to switch down the pump a little. There you go. Still got a bit of grist in there, but it's quite nice and clear. Apparently that is a thing, isn't it? Having clarity in your beer. Um, yeah. So, a bit of light in. Yeah, so we've got a, a reasonably clear thing. I mean, we haven't done a hydrogen test on it yet. Uh, I don't know. How are we doing? Oh, oh dear. 
it's still 69. God, this stuff is so fiddly. Why can't it just be the temperature it should be? Ooh. Yeah, keeping temperature, keeping temperature on this thing is, it's now impossible. <laughs> it reaches, it got to 67.5, dropped to about 67.2, heater kicks in, it's straight up to 69 again. So, I don't, I mean, I, and I am circulating, so I'm guessing you probably have to uh, just live with that lopsidity. Maybe if we can get a neoprene jacket for it, it might, uh, it might be a, a bit more stable. But at the minute, I think uh, you have to err on the side of caution with oh, this thing. Oh, you can smell a brew. Can you? Has it no? Yeah, yeah. What, what have you got there, Toby? Oh, beer and crisps. Beer and crisps. It's brew day! But not our beer. Hello, Clyde. You want Hello. crisps, do you? So, here we have our hops sorted out on our table. We've got the uh, beginning of the brew, so those two go in at the beginning, so they're there for the whole 90 minutes. This one for the last 10, and this is the What's It tablet, profile tablet that goes in for like the last 15 minutes, so hopefully to clear the beer up. I have to say though, unless we've done a really bad job of the mash, I don't think we need to clear our beer up particularly, because it is remarkably clear. Um, it looks a bit thin. <laughs> But it's remarkably clear. So we now have about oh we got we now have 16 minutes to go before we do our pH and uh, test the gravity. So that's quite exciting. All right. So we have a minute left of our mash. As you can see, it's still circulating quite nicely. Maybe a little bit fast. We've never it's never really built up. I think we've been quite lucky. The grain has been quite porous, so it's actually been circulating really well. So we need to take the gravity. We do. We need to take the gravity. We bought ourselves a gravitarizer, or whatever you call it. What's it? What is it? A refaction? A faction hygrometer. Huh? We haven't managed to uh, right. set it up properly because so, we. Uh, go on, no, what are we going to do? So you take your pipette. Yep. Yeah, and you put a blob mm -hmm. on the glass. You don't have to go outside and have a look. Yeah. Well, I'm going the. Uh, is it a drop in just, there? Yeah, just enough to a couple of drops. And then you put the okay. thing on so it spreads it. Spreads it out. Okay. Right to the end. Okay, right. Okay, then we uh, go somewhere with some light. Yeah. Wow, that's easy. Oh, is okay. it better now? Yeah, that is. So in daylight, one zero. Hang on. It's the right hand line. One zero five. No. Can't be five. five. One zero five five. No, yep. that's impossible. It's 1055. <laughs> it's supposed to get to about 1041 for this brew. No, 1055. Mind you, we didn't calibrate it, did we? So we haven't calibrated it. It could be that so it's just way 1055, and then we take the difference, which is fine. Because yeah. we're looking at differential for alcohol content, which is all we care about. That's true. We'll, yeah. have to fiddle, we'll have to fiddle the figures in the calculator to, yeah. to make it work. Yeah. There you go. Right, so all we're right. doing our, uh, our first lift. Can you do it on your own or do you want a hand? No, that's fine. Just do it nice and slow. Ooh, lovely. It's draining. Now we oh, need to turn good. it to... A bit higher than that, I think. Where's the... Oh, it's up, up to here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's oh, that's first nice. Level. Okay, that's check we're on. It? And it's going. we are on. The... So... Can we sparge at that height? I think we probably can. Yeah, we can sparge straight off in there. So... Uh, are we ready to go? Yeah. So now, if you can... listen to that... You can tell if it's dripping or not. And if it stops, and not then we're only the water that, anymore. you can tell it's going into the water. So there is, at the moment, there yeah. is no. There's a gap. Uh, whatever it is, mash in the so, water. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. You have to pull the thing off. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. So you do. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, amateur. Uh -huh. So you need to do it relatively slowly. I think that's a bit fast. Is it? Okay. Because obviously it has to sort of. Oh. Like that. No, a bit less than that. Probably. A bit more than that. A bit yeah. more. Than that sort of. Thing. Okay. There we go. So, uh, yes, yeah, so while you're doing that, right, at some point we have to start the boil, and you can start the boil during the sparge. Oh, well, yeah, what's happening to, to the, the temperature, temperature time. during the sparge? Well, it's, it should go up a little bit because this was a little bit hot. 65.8 at the moment. Right. Oh, well. Come on, dog, out of the way. I suppose I kind of rinse off the sides as well, right? Uh, I'm not sure about that, I suppose. I am. Can't hurt. Yeah. There's not that, it's not actually that much stuff in there, is there? No. Let me just have a quick. Anyway, that's pretty good, and it's hardly anything over the top, so not no. much has dropped through. Grain wise, we didn't 65. really. 65.7. Grain wise, we didn't lose a lot over the top. It's no. quite good. It looked worse when there was actually mm -hmm. wort in there. Uh, not much there at all. 
obviously we've worked out that perhaps our... Uh, oh, that's gone on again. Do we want that on? Probably not, no. Turn it off. Sorry, that's all right. No. Let's turn it off. We no, don't need okay. it on, do we? It's, it'll hold its temperature. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we think maybe the specific gravity is a bit high because we did a slightly higher, higher right. temperature. If we just turn that off, turn it off for a minute and just check that it's, um... What? This. Hang on. Uh, that still okay. hasn't touched the, the mash. Yeah. Maybe a bit more volume and just move it around faster. Like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then just wiggle it all over the shop. All right, here we go. Because, you know, it's the whole mesh and nothing but the whole mesh. <laughs> so, yeah, we think that his specific gravity might be a bit higher because we ended up going to about 69 degrees, which means you get the sugars that don't ferment but still give you a reading on your specific gravity. So, But still, the fact it's not 1.01, .01, i.e. Mm. there's Nothing. no sugar makes me happy means we have got beer of some description we have beer of some description yeah. all we can do now is screw up the fermentation oh don't we've got to put the yeast in yet and that's well, probably yes, dead yes our yeast does not look good god bless our yeast lots of it but, uh, yeah we'll, we'll see we've got a spare packet right got another 65.4 now yeah i'll tell you what if you move around mm -hmm. i'll start i'll kick off i don't kick know if it's kick off, off a boil should we kick off a boil it seems a bit Previous. Right. How much water we got left in our sparge? I have no idea. Uh, I've got to say the silicon tube. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. It says where it was. Yeah. Oh, thanks for that, mate. Ooh. Oh, we're about halfway through it actually. Yeah. Right, so if we stop it, sparge <laughs> most of the take. They reckon you should try and make it last 20 minutes. Uh, well, but that's I'm not, not going to sure. last 20 minutes. Is <laughs> no, it? it isn't. So let's turn that. But down then again, you say I'm not sure that's not just an old mother, old wives' tale because the sparge doesn't get any more sugar out of it. All it's supposed to do is rinse the sugar out that's there. Yeah. The wart that's in between. So if mm. we turn it off for a sec, how are we doing on the. We're still going. Still not hit, yeah. Wow. So we don't Looks need to like lift we did it up. probably yeah. need this much sparge water. I was okay. a bit worried it was a bit we'll high. Drop that down a little bit. Go on, give it some more. It's alright, um, right. I'll slow it down a bit. No, that's fine. Though. That's. To tell the truth, you know, a lot of people don't even bother doing the sparge, so. This may just be, uh, we're having yeah. with a specific gravity of well, 1053. Yeah. We, well, we're, we're going to have to end up with Tenant Super. Or <laughs> yeah, or beer that's really quite disappointing. Yeah. But like Next we, video will be us on the street with a paper bag around a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> we were saying earlier on, if we get 2.5%, we'll be happy on our first brew, because uh, at least it'll still on. be... There we go. Is it gone? Wow, we've finished no, our sparge. We're starting to... Yeah, I'm just having yeah. to hold it down. We have finished our sparge. Wow, that was a fast sparge. I mean, that sparge took four minutes. <laughs> four minutes? Four minutes. Yeah. Which was fast for a sparge. Oh, dear. Is it dripping? No, I think we've hit beer as well there, so... Right. We switched that off. <laughs> when I say beer, I'm being optimistic. <laughs> Jesus. God, we know what we're doing. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm sure other people have uh, suffered some of the same ignominy. Uh -huh. so, so what we, we need to do is lift it for the next... Again. Yeah, and... Next way round is there. And we just leave that now so we don't get any more drips. We we'll leave that for a while, I think. Mm -hmm. And now we can put on the boil. Okay. Oh, right. Sorry for the burp. All right. Actually, let's get the camera. God, that was satisfying doing that. That was, was it? Oh, was brilliant, I'm that gonna, was. I'm going to sparge next time. Yeah, you sparge next time. Only because it was kind of something active as part yeah, of the yeah. brewing thing. You were doing something rather than. Yeah, we have spent a lot of time just sitting around, haven't we? And, this, and now we've got 90 minutes of sitting around, right? Yeah, well, we have. So, manual. Well, that we're going to need some power to get it going. So, we're going to put that up to, I don't know, let's say to. Let's say. I don't know, 27 did it pretty well last time. Okay. A little bit 27. Hold on, I can't really see this, it's been a bit. Right, so 27, we need a time of one minute because we're just going to get it there and then put the put the uh, the wattage down again. We need a temperature of boil. So last time we did this without the lid on, it struggled to hit 100, but it was boiling. So I don't know, it's, it's just some sort of lag between the thermometer and the, uh, here we go, boil, boiling, and start. Right, now, it's probably going to blow all the electricity in the house, but you know, we can come back home. Oh, right, what does our, uh, what does our, what does the sight glass say? Right, bear with me. Because that's, fair, that seemed fairly accurate. Yep, yeah, right, so sight glass says 30 litres. <laughs> Okay, no, that's... That's about right. Uh, we're going to lose five in the boil, aren't four, we? Well, we're losing about four in the boil, and yeah. then we're going to lose about two 
in the bottom. So we're down to about 25, which is where we want to be. Yeah, that's, that's, wow. Two kegs full. That's pretty, pretty, uh... Weeks drinking, perfect. Well, not two kegs full, one keg and a few bottles. Oh yeah, one keg, sorry. We, uh, we just worked out our efficiency using the Grainfather app, which we've plugged hotcat numbers into and <coughs> and our specific gravity, and we come out at 87%. 87%. Yeah, 87%. Percent, yeah. So we might be getting a false reading. I think we may be getting a false mm. reading. A, we haven't calibrated it, and B, we had high temperatures, so we've probably got the unfermentable sugars. Yeah, we have overmatched. But you never know. We may, have, we may have invented we'll an entirely new bitter. Yeah, called vodka. <laughs> we have the uh, so we have the mash. We have the mash tun out, and we've put the lid on just to get it up to the boil. It's it seems to be without a neoprene jacket. It seems to be quite it seems to be struggling really. So uh, yeah, lid on just to get it to a boil. Then we'll adjust the wattage, and uh, and hopefully get a nice slow rolling boil on the go. So someone has to go and clean this mash now. And Toby has done one. Strange, huh? We have we have a boil that took, I would say, about 25 minutes to get from 60 odd to 100. We're on the minute thing now, so we're going to have to reset it. But it looks well. We've got a fair amount of beer in there. Let's hope it comes out somewhere near 25 litres. Otherwise, we're uh, we're going to be drinking this stuff for the rest of our lives. But is that bad? Is it bad to drink for the rest of no, your yeah. life? The good thing is, with our pH at that, we haven't made vinegar that's that. Oh, right, OK, right, yes. We discovered our pH papers are, are really quite useless for beer brewing. It tops off at 5.4, doesn't it? Which yeah. is, you know, is down? really what you want to be. So uh, it's very yeah. hard to tell. OK, so here we are. We're at 100 degrees. Manual. Let's go through this all again. Now oh, it's already the temperature's already dipping. I think we definitely need some sort of jacket for this. Uh, 2,700 we don't need, but we're not sure what we need. So we're going to start at f oh, come on. We're going to start at 1,500. I think. God, that moves fast. Whoa! <laughs> you can't hold. It literally goes from 3,000 watts to to nothing in the blink of an eye. Right. And then we need to boil it for 90 minutes. 90 minutes. That's a long time. Obviously not in a lifetime, but, uh, you know, seems a long time when you're desperate to drink beer. Um, 1500 watts, wrap boiling, da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. start. There we go. And let's see if we can get it back up to a rolling boil at 1500 watts. Is it even trying yet? It's not clicked on yet, but I'm sure... It will momentarily. 97.5 but the element is on, so 97.7 is going up. It's kind of boiling. Yeah, it's in the right direction. 98, that's flying now. I'm sure 1500, I mean 1500 is quite a lot for something that's already at 100 degrees, so anyway, we'll get back to you when we're a bit nearer the uh, the required rolling boil. That looks nice. Looks nice. I don't know. I've seen rolling boils before and that looks like a rolling boil. It's rolling oh, and it's boiling. Smells it smells good, doesn't it? It smells so sweet. We are struggling to maintain a rolling boil. The temperature keeps hitting 100 and then it switches itself off, which can't be right when you're trying to do a boil. Does that mean we've got the... the hmm. Maybe it means we've got the wattage too high still. Maybe we've got to keep it down below a certain amount because it was boiling quite nicely at about 99. Now it's just sort of ticking over again. Very annoying. Maybe we've got it too high. What's up? Maybe we've got the wattage too high because it, it hit 100 again and stopped. No. So the problem we're having is it's actually hitting 100 degrees and switching itself off. So I think what we need to do is probably lower the power again. And, uh, and find a power at which it gets to about 99, which seems to be a nice little rolling boil, 99. 99 is a good temperature. The problem is now it will creep above 99. Oh no, maybe not. Ah, if it stays there, we're all right. It's, it's a real juggling act, is this? A real juggling act. Fingers crossed we may have found our wattage. We're at 1900. And it's basically cycling between 99.5 and about 
which means it's not hitting 100 and it's not cutting out. The problem is when it cuts out, it drops by about 3 degrees, well between 2 and 3 degrees, and then takes all that time to come back on again so the boil stops. But Brewing mist. We have our own equatorial brewing system. Look at that. Who needs the, uh, the rainforest when you've got this? It's actually raining at this end of the room. If you stand near enough the brewing bucket, you actually get a... Oh, oh, oh no! There goes the fermenter. But at least there's nothing in it. Oh, hallelujah. It's been one of those days. I have to say, we've learned quite a lot so far today. It's been a, a real education. So, 1800 degrees, 800 watts. We're now keeping about 99.4. I'm guessing... Dog! Go away! Dog! Go away! Damn you, dog! Out! Out, damn dog! Yes, I'm guessing that actually we need to calibrate and it's actually going over 100 degrees and that's why it's cutting out in reality. So we actually, well, we need to calibrate the boiler at some point. But I tried to do the calibration that it talks of in the Robo Brew Manual and the calibration it talks of in the firm, firm, firm Zilla? Zilla firm? Firm? Not firm Zilla. Zilla. Zilla, oh, I can't remember. You know what? They know what I'm talking about. Anyway, but the, both of those calibrations, which are identical, don't work on this. It just doesn't seem to do it. So we have to find another way of doing that. Look at look at that. It is it is literally raining in here. We've got uh, cobwebs like that straight out of the jungle. I mean, this is this is like being in I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Except of course, it's uh, they don't have a brew beer challenge, which is a shame because it would be very exciting to see a lot of uh, talentless people try to brew beer, which is pretty much how I'd describe our experience today. Look at that. You can almost smell the honeysuckle. We got this for about 30 quid. A stainless steel fronted Miel fridge, and it works. 30 quid result. We've measured it and we should be able to get two fermenters in just um, working out how to put shelves in is going to be hard work because they're just in the wrong place but I'm sure we'll manage something. We've got a heater in there now and the fridge and it's keeping an average. There we go. So we've got, we've set it for 18 degrees, it's 18.9 in a minute. It sort of goes backwards and forwards by about a degree but hope that's just with the loose, um, that's with a loose thermocouple thing just sat in the bottom of the fridge so hopefully if when we stick it to the outside of our fermenting bin with blue tack, which apparently is a uh, another another uh, great idea I picked up on Facebook. When we do that, we should hopefully. Uh, oh, interesting! That's the alarm to go and pick my children up. I think they may have to walk home on their own this evening. No, no, my wife will do it. Don't worry, I'm not abusing my children just to brew beer, but I'm sure many have. We are down from what was originally just under 35. Can you see that? I can't see it. I doubt you can. Anyway, it was just under 35. We're now on just over 30. And on the outside, we are... Where's it gone? On the outside. Where are you, darling? Come on. Come on, baby. There we go. We're on about 26 and a half litres. Which, if we lose about another litre and a half, is about right which is a miracle, uh, given it's our first brew. Okay, right, I'm gonna leave this here until we're ready to pitch our dead yeast. Cool. Cooling pipe. Cooling we're now pipe. at the point where we have boiled for on and off for 90 minutes. It wasn't perfect, but it's had a good, I'd say a solid hour and 10. I'm gonna put the lid on. We're now running the cooler. Hopefully nothing pops. So, uh, yeah, that feels like something coming in. Oh, wow. Wow. Hello. You want to feel the water coming out? It's quite warm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just that tube there is almost hot. Wow. Oh, it is, isn't it? Wow, look at the temperature. Is it crashing? It is dropping. Oh, that's good. Wow. That's gone from 99 to 90 in about. Jeez, that is coming down fast. That's right. amazing. That's good. Well, we were worried about the <laughs> efficiency of that yeah, coil. Yeah. I'm we? going to guess it's going to slow down as it gets nearer the, yeah, the temperature yeah. of the water. But yeah, wow. So, 
Right. That's our first brew sort of done, the brew part. Now the all we have to part. do is the ferment part. Oh, the easy bit, yeah. So we have our nice new shiny um, stainless steel fridge, because everything yeah. has to be stainless steel in the world of Toby. Very important. It's a stainless steel world. Eventually we will have stainless steel shelving as well. We will indeed. We will indeed. And, and bigger things, bigger things. Our only thing now is whether our yeast is still alive. Mm -hmm. uh, it might be dormant. Time will only tell. There's a lot of it. Wow, it's down to 80 already. That's incredibly quick. Nice, Mind you, the water's the mains water is very cold, isn't it? Mean, what, about seven or eight degrees outside. Yeah. I was thinking we should run it through ice on the way through. Yeah, you know, have a second work. chiller. But that is going to be fast. That's fast. Well, over winter, it looks like we'll cool okay, doesn't it? And when it we does. start getting into summer, we have to start thinking about something more uh, we efficient. Put, we did put a bit of boiling water through the uh, the pump just to uh, make sure it was sort of sanitised. Not for very long because you're not supposed to run it in boiling water, but. Have you switched the pump off? A minute or so. The pump is off, yep. Yeah. Hang on, let's just... Let's Excuse me. Just do that. Oh. Well, no, because... Oh, well, all right. I wanted just to measure Just stop that. anything dropping oh, down. Yeah, I suppose. Yes. We're getting paranoid now, aren't we? Uh-huh. <laughs> Paranoia is a good thing when it comes to bacteria. It is. It is. So, where are we now? Are we down to 70 yet? 73. Wow. Okay. Right. We'll take a break and we'll get back to you. So, that's two minutes and 19 seconds since we switched on the water. Wow. That's fast. That's fast. That's I thought really we'd fast. have to wait, like, an hour. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's taping. Oh, okay. Wow, that was a bit scary. Right, right so we are now right. we are now hovering. Wow, we're at 21.8 now. We switched right. the water off. 21.8 degrees, and we're going to pitch because obviously the the fermenter is lower, so that's going to take some temperature out. You need to give that a whiz around your head, get all the star sand out. Mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. There we go. Snaky, snaky star sand man. I mean, literally, whiz it around your head. It'll be very dry. Really? Give, give it a whiz. Matt, no. Oh. Now oh, that's vicious. Well, <laughs> New Zealand rugby team with that. Couldn't Indeed. I? Okay, okay, where is oh, the, the Star Sand Spray? Star Sand Spray is up there. So I oh. need to give the uh, well, very quickly. Just quick. Uh, yeah, there you go. So All right. right. Done. So we need to empty empty this bit out because we've still got some crap in the bottom of here. Stick it in. Oh. This has been washed in Brewmate and several times and has had star sand sprayed into it and we need to let the trub what's it oh christ out there we go you right? oh, no, i'll just let out the bit of star sand that's left in the bottom and uh, let me turn it off again if <laughs> we put the beer in yeah yeah that would help how's it done i think that's about it okay how's it look oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. yeah it looks all yeah right. that's good ready all right so lid off. here we go so um, pump on hang on tap on well, it doesn't really matter, put the pump on first, it's, it's happy either way. Pump on, there we go. Anything coming? Yeah, there we there go. We go. So you need to get air into it. So you need to whizzle wazzle it around so, a little bit. We have beer. We have beer, it's about the right colour. It's looking like beer, isn't it? It is looking like beer. It smells like sweet something. It smells like a pub cellar, which yeah. is a good start. <laughs> smells like my armpits. That's not a good stuff. Uh, well, you know, it depends on how much be Oh shit, did I switch it off? Yes, I switched it off. Did I? Yeah, I don't think I have. I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't tell. Well, that would be a fucking disaster. <laughs> Come on. Is it off now? Yeah. Which, yeah that's what's off and what's on? Hang on. There, that's fine. That's off now, is it? Yeah. It was on then. So, is it on? Yeah. Well, that's a bit shy, You need to get more air in that. Okay. Well, yeah. What's left? Yeah, from yeah. a bit. Do a bit more height because it's. This is the only bit of the process where you need air in it. Okay. For the old yeast. Oh, that's lovely. I'll tell you one thing I've learnt brewing. So now I can make you go to the loo. Yeah, right. I'll tell you what, we're going to have to star sand that, chem sand that again because we've yeah, got the lids we put on the floor. Oh, shit. Right, I'll do that. Oh, I'm now scratched crap we, all over it as we well. Got... So we're uh, we're busy doing our transference to the thing. We seem to have. It seems to have a little bit the left. The tube it. is so uh, in there. We're not, not sure. We if don't we really have be... 23 litres. Not quite right. I think we should turn that off because yeah. uh, that's not worth so having. Pump off. So it's uh, quite, quite clear in there. That's good. It is quite clear. So okay, pitch of yeast. Here's our yeast. Here we go. It, it may be dead. Oh, it may but, not. So it Do may we not. splash this all? No, you just give, you just put throw it all in. There we go. That's yeast our yeast. Is there was a lot of it. It might be dead. It might not. It was alive at one point. Here is our now. very much star sand lid. We have the sanitised the hell out of this to hope that we don't get Well, let's infection. hope all that, all that time it took us to 
put the stuff in hasn't uh... right, and what right. does it say on our little external thermometer can't really see it ah. can you read it see oh. I have to turn that around to see that 20 something 21 22 yeah it's about right about right so right. here now, we go fridge into the fridge into the <sighs> hold on let me get that out of the way god we made a bit of a mess but we know what we're doing. We'll definitely get these bags out at some point, I think, was the uh, uh -huh. was the key there. It was. Is that heavy? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Right, so, okay. just needs to go on the shelf for now. Let's hope that doesn't break. Oh, it won't break. It's, it's very solid. We just... Okay. All right, so we need some blue tack. So, shut the door. Yeah, for now. Let's go and get some blue tack, and we will... Blue oh, tack. The bejesus out of it, yeah. yeah. Yes, that was a tip we got, I think, on Jim's beer forum. Somebody had um, they put it in a they put it in a jam jar in a tub of sarsan behind, and they couldn't quite get the temperature right. And someone said basically, stick it to the metal using blue tack, so it's insulated on the outside and uh, in contact with the metal on the inside, and hopefully then everything should go swimmingly. Let's see what's left in the in the boiler. There's quite a lot left in there, but that's actually not much what? rubbish, is there? Not much, and it's quite clear. Given yeah. that's the bottom of the wow. boil. Wow, that didn't really... That's and hardly marked at all. No, we've got a little bit of mark. That's quite that impressive. Well, the, only right. annoying, the only annoying thing is that that tap thing is so high. Uh-huh. I mean, how many litres is there in that? That must be three centimetres high, that tap. Yeah. That um, pulp. Uh, so, here we pop. go. Right, I'd stick it on the other side away from the... Yep, the we'll stick it there. Right. Two thirds? Is yep. it, have you covered it on the tip as well? Uh, the tip fine. is a sensitive area. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> There we go. I believe in most pounds is the tip is the most sensitive area. Is it true? That looks about right. You think that's there gonna stay go. on? That's gonna stay on. There's nothing moving that. That's right. touching the touching metal. Side of the metal. So in a way you could say we're touching cloth. Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> touching the metal, that's fine. Right. So that will get a good heat so transfer. So all we between have now is two. whether our yeast is dead or not. So if the yeast is dead, we have to pitch some more dry yeast. Otherwise, hopefully that'll be bubbling away like a crazy bastard. There we go. Very shortly. Wow, what a mess. Look at that. Oh. So now, just looking at this. Wow, look at that. It's already ice going up. It's obviously very much there in touch with its, with its dark side. So it was on 25 point something, supposedly. Um, oh, that's interesting, because when we took it on. out, it was about 21. So obviously the, there's obviously no, a big difference a between... Spots. I think the, the ink bird might be more, um, more accurate, to tell the truth. Yeah, that's going down quite quick. Yeah. Well, that's good. Okay, 25 is fine, I think. I think probably missed about the blue tack. There's probably some warmth in that as well. <laughs> yeah. We still Tw would have been looking at that going down. Yeah, there. yeah. No, I think 25 is safe. I th yeah. I've seen people pitch at 30 and it seems to no, exist. It's right. whether our yeast is, is still alive. That's the only worry we have. That now. was warmth from the blue tack. Without that how much that. did we have in there, literage wise It wasn't 23, was it? Not quite. No. Oh. So there was a lot of loss in just getting it out of the tub. Because yeah. the outside said 25 litres exactly. Yeah. And according to this, it still says what we got ten. It's ten litres according to the. Really? Uh, it can't no, it, oh. Let's it's take that off. It's we'll take off, this off. It? Take that off. See what happens. And that should drop back down. Uh, oh, the reason it doesn't is because Richard, because the tap, the little no, is out the water. That is yeah. out of the water, and therefore it's that high. Yeah, so yeah. it will always oh, read. Obviously, there's nothing yeah. in the bottom of there. Is it there? will always read whatever it's reading there as a minimum. So that 25 was nonsense. We were actually... No, 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 it was. It's fine, but you will never get below that level on the sight glass. All right. Because you have a U-bend in there. Okay. It stay at a constant level. That makes sense. So right. which, do, which do you believe more? What's on the inside or what's on the outside? Inside, without doubt. Well, nothing. the markings. So... Sorry, outside, rather. The, yeah, the inside, well, the inside I said think... 30 litres. There's no way there was no. 30 litres in there. The inside is quite inaccurate on this one. Yeah. Okay, right, right. so we now just off. have a big old mess. Oh. We have a blind dog who's uh, interested in wart. He seems to really mm -hmm. quite like it, in fact. It's a dog so who likes beer. A dog who likes beer. Is so that the, beer, Bonnie? So the next... Beer? Uh, Your yeah. beer. That's a beer. The next beer is going to probably have a slightly doggy saliva taste to it. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's summarise our brew day. So to start with the cleaning process, oh. what we need to do there, which uh, took the longest to do. Yes, I think, I think the cleaning, setting up hoses, setting up um, proper hoses, you know, yep. um, garden hoses. Garden hoses and everything else. Keeping everything together, start yep. sending the bejesus out of everything. Yeah. 
surprising um, how long and how much effort that took. Yes, I think, I, think, I think brewers have to be quite cleanly people. I think they have to enjoy yeah. cleaning, really, to enjoy yeah. brewing, because that was a lot of work. But hopefully that will be less on <laughs> yeah. the next one. Oh, thank For you, some dog. reason, uh, Bonnie the dog has decided this is very exciting because we're talking to nobody. Yeah. Perhaps talking to each other. So, yes, so the team is all right. Um... <laughs> right. When you no, it's an animal. Yeah, I know. Go on, right. Now, go on. <laughs> go on. Go on, dogs. Go on. Which now won't stop it, it'll just cut it. Go. Off you go. Off you go, dear man. You, you, go. Don't right. sit there barking. Go, go, go and bother the boys. Go on. Well, yes, the mash made a bit of it, but we yeah. mashed probably for 80 minutes instead yeah. of 60 minutes, so it was, it was a good mash. Mm. It was sweet, sticky yes. at the end, and we, um, oh, what's it called? The refractor. Um, hydrometer. Hydrometer. Yeah. Showed red it 10 at 10 Yeah, which is impossible given the amount of grain we had. So we, either we, brewed, we mashed too hot and we got the sugars out that can't be yep. um, fermented. fermented, but do measure, or it's, it's just badly calibrated. So but there is actually sugar in there because you can taste yeah. it. So we'll see what happens when uh, we've got the full ferment and we'll work out what the hydrogen yeah. says then to see what the uh, specific gravity was. Yeah. And I, we'll be able to tell as well as to how strong the beer is, how strong it tastes. The other thing about the mash was it's pretty obvious you cannot do a half brew in the hot cat easily because even yes. the mash pipe doesn't go down far enough to, uh, to allow for overflow. We yeah. didn't need it, but it, you do, but you the do need it. the whole of the setup yeah. Was there for a full. It's aimed at, 50, it's aimed at 50 litres. Yes, yeah. couldn't yeah. use the hot cat itself, we had to use hot bags. Hot cat would barely brew. have gone into yeah. the brew, it's, it's yeah. that long. Uh, so, yeah, next time, double brew. Um, then we get on to the boil. And we had problems getting the temperature right in the boil because it, either it's not calibrated quite right and it was going over 100 degrees and switching itself off and dropping down 3 degrees, or. No, I think that's the answer, really. Yeah. Well, we stuck it down to 1800 watts, and at 1800 watts, the, the, the temperature dial said 99 to 99.4. But at that, it was proper boiling. It just kept going. And we probably had an hour of that, and then yeah. we had about another half an hour of it going on and off and on. And yeah. off. I think the calibration is not quite there, is it? Uh, and it's, it's thinking it's. Yeah. I think it thinks it's hotter than it is. Yeah. And, and they're, oh, they're made in Shenzhen or something like that. And I, I think that depends on the sea level. Where are we, sea level wise? We are quite low. Quite low. Maybe yeah. they're a bit higher. More dogs. Jesus. Just bear with me a minute. Well, <coughs> just let a dog out. <laughs> yes, so the boil went well. It boiled. And yeah. it, it lost, it went down from a, just under 35 litres to about 30 on the internal measure. On the external measure, it went from about, it went, we ended up with 25 litres according to the sight glass, which seemed quite accurate. Yeah. Side glass was more accurate yeah. than the internal And then the cooler the was amazing. The cooler was about 25 Coo minutes to get it down to... great off an external tap, so the water was quite cold. Very cold. When it was coming up. Yeah. But did crash it very fast. Very fast. And... Um, Slowed down towards the end. But yeah. yeah. So yeah. in November, where we are at the moment, was a... Well, it worked. An efficient method. In I summer, was, I think it will be less efficient. Yeah, though. maybe we'll need yeah. a second one in a pot of ice as well yeah. to, to give it extra off. Um, the only weird thing, for me anyway, he's less battered, for me is that we ended up with about, well we're not quite sure, but about 20 litres of beer. Even though the sight glass is 25, yeah. there's supposed to be a 2 litre loss when you take it out of the thing. And we did tip the, um, we tip the boiler up in the end to get, because that, yeah. there's a little pipe which is like a, um, a right angle bend yeah. in the bottom. The it's at least yeah. 4 centimetres deep and that's yeah. a lot of, yeah. that's a lot of beer. So maybe next time, because we hardly had that. Oh, the other thing is we hadn't had any grain in the wort yeah. at all. It's very clear. Very That's clear. surprising in the bottom. There's almost no grist yeah, in the fruit. Really, there was and a little we bit in the pot. We were worried about the fit on yeah. the bottom of the uh, the mash basket, yeah. the grain yeah. basket, the filter, uh, because it didn't necessarily look that tight until you put the grain in and it pushed the filter down. So that was quite a good feature. Yeah. I mean, we had a few well. grains on the top, we had a few grains in the bottom, but almost all of it stayed in the basket. Yeah. And we brewed so much out of it, there was it, it wasn't stuck together at all. You could just pour it out. Yeah. So I think the the mash was the most successful. Bit. Yeah. <clears throat> but we ended up with twenty years. Instead of twenty three. Yeah, one of two um, issues with, I am with taps and stuff. Bitterly disappointed. Uh, <coughs> well, I am a bit. I'm a bit annoyed by that. Yeah. But 
I the, thought we were absolutely bo bo. I, th I genuinely thought for our first brew we had exactly what we expected. We have a to do. we have a full keg's worth, <laughs> yeah, corny yeah. keg's worth, um, which was great. Um, assuming that the yeast works. And oh god, the yeast is. So it's a bench bubble, which we'll, we'll have to look at and come back to you on another video. Years. So anyway. For our first brew day, it was a bit chaotic, exhausting, I'm really tired. Yeah, had a full day's work. <laughs> and the clean-up afterwards isn't that bad actually, clean-up afterwards, is no, it really? That was easy about four four it was setting everything up and the stress of making sure it all worked the first time around. Yeah, yeah. and the worry, because you know, yeah. you hear things about these machines. It, 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 and, it, and the nice thing is, it's actually really clean, there's a tiny bit of calcium on the middle plate where it boils, yeah. but hardly any. And we didn't really go to town on it. We could have got that off probably. Yeah. So, uh, and the pump seems clean, the pipes seem clean, nothing's yeah. clogged up. No, it's all good. And the wart was really clear. And when we put in the prophylactic... Oh, the, 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 yeah, the prof findings. Prof yeah. prof what is it called? I don't know, it's the findings anyway. Yeah. Pro prophylactic. Prof 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 you called it something else, didn't no, you? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, the prophylactic. The Irish moss. Yeah. The Irish moss in tablet form. We put that in, it was amazing. So it just disappeared, went dark. Yeah. So anyway, I think yeah. we did a reasonably job. The, the Chuckle Brewers will be back if it kills us. Move on. And see you again soon. Brew, Brew me. Brew you. Oh.